In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to make a simple model of a wooden barrel using UV mapping. The material was set up using the Blender internal render. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the material using the Cycles render. This is the website where I got the barrel textures from, nordicfx.net. If you click this link, you can download a zip package containing all the textures, which are free for non-commercial use only. Press X on the keyboard to delete the cube. Add Mesh Cylinder. I'm dragging to make the Properties window wider. I'm going to click the Object Properties button. and I'm going to set the Z scale to be 1.8 and Enter. I'm going to use two windows, so I'm going to drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. I'm going to change the view in the new window from perspective to orthogonal and to the front view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm going to go into edit mode. To make a nice rounded barrel we need to add vertices, edges and faces to the sides of the cylinder. To add the extra geometry I'm going to click loop cut and slide. Hover over the cylinder but don't click the mouse button. Press 9 on the keyboard followed by enter. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar and I'm going to click face select mode. I want to select all the faces around the sides of the cylinder. So I'm going to hold down shift to add to the selection, hold down the alt key to select a ring of faces and select a face. And do the same at the bottom, hold down shift, hold down the alt key and select a face. Now we've selected all the faces around the sides but not the top and bottom face. I'm going to change this window to a UV image editor window and at this point I'm going to change the render from the Blender internal to the cycles, even though the UV mapping process is the same in both systems. Image, open image, go to the folder where you have your barrel textures, this button will display thumbnails, select the texture for the side of the barrel and open image, zoom back with the mouse wheel. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, cylinder projection, in the image editor window, press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction and shrink the grid down so it's just inside the image. Hold down shift, middle mouse button to pan the corner of the image into the middle of the window. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction and stretch the grid so that it matches the image. Next, set up the material, click the material button, click the add new material button and we see the material setup for cycles is quite different to the Blender internal render. With the Blender internal I would now click the textures button, you don't with cycles, you click the dot at the end of the colour box, you set texture to image texture, click the browse image button and select the barrel texture. You don't need to set the coordinates to UV, the default setting for cycles is UV mapped. Don't forget to assign the material to the faces. Now I'm going to click the viewport shading button and you see more options with cycles. For now I'm going to choose material and we see our image mapped to our model. Next I'm going to set up the material for the barrel lid. Before I do that I'm going to give it a meaningful name to the barrel side material. Change the view to the top view and select the top face. Click the add new material slot button and click the add new material button. Give the new material a meaningful name. In the image editor window zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to pan to the center. Image, open image and change the image to the lid image. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap and the projection I'm going to use is project from view bounds. Click the dot in the color box, set the texture to image texture, click the browse image button and select the lid image 
and don't forget to assign the material to the face. To do the bottom of the barrel, change the view to the bottom view and select the bottom face. When we change the selection, the material defaulted to the top of the list. Make sure the lid material is selected. In the mesh menu, UV unwrap, project from view bounds. And remember to assign the material to the face. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, we see we have a problem. The image open in the editing window is resetting the file in all the materials. To work around this problem, drag on the white diagonal lines to close the image editing window and select a face from the side of the barrel. Click the browse image button and select the barrel side image. And in the file menu, I'm going to pack external data which will pack the image files into the blend file. Change the view to the front view and go into edge select mode. Hold down the alt key and select an edge from the center of the barrel. Enable proportional editing and press S to scale. Use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing. And I'm going to enter a value 1.4 and enter. Change the view from orthogonal to perspective. In the file menu, display user preferences. If you click the system button, you can change the compute device to CUDA. If you have a graphics card that supports version 1.3 onwards of CUDA, you can hardware accelerate the cycle's render. Click the Render button and change the device to the graphics processing unit on your graphics card. Cycles has a Render Preview mode that will now be hardware accelerated. That's the end of the tutorial. I've put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www dot freemovies dot co dot uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye